It is a crisp bluebird day out here in the deltas. I'm out here with Shane, and uh, we are gonna be attempting a peak called McCollum Peak. It's a 6,000er, and it's about seven miles back from where we are about now. And then that big boy is Institute Peak, which is 8,005 feet. Um, our peak is about the same distance back, but it's right around that direction where we can't see McCollum Peak yet. Yeah, so we're gonna camp out on a ridge tonight, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go up and try to summit the beast. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> hydrate, hydrate. Did you? Oh damn, he actually, <laughs> he actually did chug the whole thing. getting out of the canyon and now look at all these mountains we got surrounding us. Colum Peak is that one back there that Shane is heading towards. Right there, that one. Yeah, it is just hot, sunny, and crisp. Could not be getting better weather, so feeling great. Both layers off. Well, I have my long johns and then I have my swigs and then these. What the fuck? <laughs> dude, it's hotter than Hades down in your crotch. <laughs> Shit, dude. Paul. Oh. Here you go, Timmy. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Yeah, we're uh, we're getting to the fried zone. <laughs> you can tell by the zombie walk of pain. <laughs> huh? So pretty strong from the surface. Awesome. Yeah. Welcome to the zombie phase of this hike. Look at that, look at that slog. <laughs> There's Shane. I don't think I've ever seen Shane so tuckered out. We have been just absolutely putting in frickin' work today. Damn, look at Institute. That's Institute right there. It's an eight, that's a 8,000er that Shane and I have been thinking about doing for quite some time. Oh my God, look at this. This cliff bar is an icicle. Ah. Mm. 
Let me take a looky look. Holy fuck! Dude! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Dude! Holy shit! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh. Wee. All right, so we are all the way up here on top of this nub. There is McCollum Peak that we're gonna go for tomorrow morning. But oh my goodness, I cannot believe it's like it's like eight o'clock right now and it's calm and sunny. This is crazy. But uh, we're gonna set up tent right around here and yeah, I guess make some dinner and have an early early uh, night. Get to bed early that way we're well rested for the peak tomorrow. We mentioned change calculations were off a little bit, and we ended up doing 10 miles today. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> hey, mm. you know, it was just numbers. You know, you start with seven, it becomes eight, nine, ten. That's not too far <laughs> off, is it? <laughs> mm. All right. Shane and I are Ooh. calling it a night. We've ate. Night, night. The sun has come up now and it is nice and warm. We've just finished packing up the tent and we are going to slowly mosey our way down to about there and then we're gonna test and see how the snow pack is and whatnot. And we're probably gonna boot up to the top of McCollum. So yeah, other than that, should be a good time. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, should be good. Bad news, snowpack isn't good. And it's probably gonna get worse when it gets steeper. So not the highest yeah. hopes. And then you kind of punch through it, which means there's like kind of a really soft layer right underneath it. It could go pretty easily and Yeah, I think you guys get the idea. We're coming back. It's all downhill from here.
fried and burnt to a crisp. Ooh. Shane and I put in, definitely put in work these last two days. But uh, this, okay. Only thing we could have wished for is slightly better snow because that crust kind of sucked for the way down that we were booting on the way down. But I think asking for too much more would be getting greedy. But uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, be sure to leave a like and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!